Greetings uh, fellow deplorables, it's GCL and this is just a quick video uh, just to sort of highlight liberal media absurdity, stupidity, um, I don't even have a word for it anymore. I don't think any of us has ever seen a campaign season like this, uh, nor the uh, media coverage, which is truly horrendous. <laughs> anyway. Um, so Trump comes out today and he lays out his 100 days uh, in office, first 100 days in office, his plan. Um, Trump's taken a lot of criticism uh, for not being specific enough. And early on, that was a fair criticism. But in recent months, he's increasingly uh, been updating his website with pretty detailed uh, plans for how he intends to take the country. Um, yeah, especially in this first 100 days, which is what this today's speech was all about. And I, what I did is the speech was fairly lengthy, so I took out the important parts. I think it was like a 10 point plan or something of that effect. Um, I uploaded it in three clips. You can check it out. It was highly detailed. Um, I didn't find a whole lot to disagree with, maybe some things on trade and things, but other than that, I thought it was one of the most sound speeches I've heard um, from any politician. In the last couple of decades so <clears throat> so how does a liberal media respond this is great and predictably what I've done here I've pulled up the major uh, quote-unquote news sites which there aren't too many of them left so of course MSNBC, <laughs> MSNBC comes out with a headline of Clinton Trump's talk threatens democracy absolutely stupid right I mean they're, they're all criticizing him for not being detailed enough and then this is the headline that comes out of NBC is, is uh, Clinton uh, who actually she's been less specific than he has and her ideas are all bad all right so let's go to CNN who's probably the worst this is great every woman lied right so the guy comes out with a highly detailed plan and CNN's headline is every woman lied what this refers to is there was one section in the speech a few seconds where he addressed the um, the, the accusers right that date back 30 some odd years that suddenly two weeks before an election decide that they're suddenly offended right so, um, of course, CNN just sees that one little snippet and uses that as a headline because he said they all lie and he's going to sue them. So <laughs> that's their headline, right? Let's go to NBC News. Trump says he will sue accusers. Oh, and then they gave him uh, a little bit of credit that he also laid out his plan for the first 100 days. But the fact that that is even in the headline, this was, this was just a, a sort of a passing comment that he made. Right, the entire speech was all about his platform going into the first 100 days in office. So then we've got ABC News. ABC, it's uh, basically the same thing. Trump vows to sue the sexual assault accusers. Oh, and he also just happened to lay out his plan for the first 100 days in office, right? So this is what the liberal media wants you to focus on, that he's gonna sue the sexual assault accusers, which he actually should. I don't know who's buying into this crap, uh, unless you're a Clinton supporter. I mean, I'm sorry, if you've been groped or sexually assaulted in some way, you don't wait 20, 30 years and suddenly say, oh gee, the person's uh, going into an election, I think I'll go ahead and say something. And finally, uh, Fox. Fox actually has only has a minor headline, and it starts with Trump lays out plan, uh, GOP, GOP hopeful says term limit job. So they're the only one coming to the table with any kind of responsible headline. Um, now there's obviously a lot of other uh, websites you can go to, like the New York Times or the Washington Post. They're all horrible. Um, honestly, Fox has actually been the, the probably the one that's been the most fair throughout the election cycle. But uh, of course, they've got their slant as well. But um, nothing like CNN or MSNBC. CNN is truly despicable. And I encourage, you know, I, Trump's not probably coming to my state anytime soon. So, um, but I encourage if you go to a Trump rally, start in. Uh, you know, join in on those chants of CNN sucks because they are truly horrific. And I would encourage everyone to try and get them removed off your cable package. Why should we have to pay for this crap? Um, just unbelievable. Anyway, just my two cents. Uh, watch the uh, watch the 100 days plan. I think it was uh, it was excellent. Um, and you know, uh, some of my earlier videos, I indicated that I was not one of these Trump trained people, but. Um, you know, this is what we're left with, and Trump does have some of the best ideas I've heard in decades. I'm um, sorry that he's such a flawed individual, but look, 
<laughs> when we're confronted with someone like Clinton, um, he really is the only way to go, and he does have some fantastic ideas. Um, if we could get half done of what he's uh, what he's proposed, uh, we'll be in a lot better shape. Um, I have this feeling that he's somehow going to win the popular vote and lose the electoral college uh, because I do think the system is truly rigged. So uh, we're in for a rough four years probably either way because the resistance that he would get as president would be uh, pretty astounding. Anyway, that's all I had to, uh, to go with. Uh, stay tuned. Thanks.